Hello, welcome to the Marginal Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over what the ChatGPT agent is, why it is a big deal, how to use it, right? And the potential cybersecurity dangers of ChatGPT agents. A ChatGPT agent is an advanced feature within OpenAI's ChatGPT platform that enables the AI to autonomously carry out complex multi-step tasks on behalf of users rather than just simply, you know, responding to individual prompts. So this is fundamentally different from earlier chat bot models it doesn't just answer questions or generate text but can actually perform actions in the digital world such as whether it's browsing the web and interacting with pages please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button it's filling out forms clicking buttons or submitting queries right it can also create and edit documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. It analyzes data, researching topics, and summarizing findings. It connects to other platforms, whether it's Gmail, Google Drive, or SharePoint, to access and manipulate third-party data. So to enable these capabilities, Chat, you know, GPT agent operates within a sandbox virtual computer, giving it a secure environment where it can, you know, basically access tools like the visual browser, terminal, and application connectors. Now, in regards to the relevance and importance why it's such a big deal, like just shocking everybody, right, is the automation and, you know, of the, you know, basically the repetitive um, or complex tasks, right? So users, especially in professional settings, can offload time-consuming work, you know, workflows, ranging from scheduling meetings, preparing competitive analyses, to handling routine data tasks, right? Basically freeing them, you know, to focus on higher level work. Now, it bridges the, the gap, right, you know, between reasoning and action unlike prior versions of ChatGPT, which only suggested what to do, the agent can both plan and execute, right? As an example, it could read your emails, extract the relevant data, summarize meetings, and automatically generate required reports or documents, right? There's a perf you know persistent workflow and context to the use of it. So the agent manages workflows with persistent context and you know basically can integrate multiple tools or data sources in a single process, allowing for seamless and efficient task management. So there's going to be a shift right to the real autonomy in AI. So the move, you know, from a reactive assistant, uh, which basically is rating you know for prompts, to a proactive autonomous agent marks a significant milestone in basically AI development, right? <laughs> this this ChatGPT agent type thing. So the, you know, agenetic uh, AI can act, you know, on behalf of individuals and teams changing how many businesses and professionals operate day to day. Now, there are critical actions in regards to control and security, especially those involving sensitive information like sending emails or entering passwords or, you know, basically are safeguarding by requiring explicit user approval to maintain security. Now, basically how to use the ChatGPT agent, right? You have to log into ChatGPT using a Pro Plus or Team subscription, open a chat and basically either click on the tools menu and select agent mode or type slash agent into the prompt bar. Now you have to describe your task. So clearly state what you want the agent to accomplish, whether it's plan a week of vegetarian dinners with shopping lists or analyze my you know, email inbox and summarize key points as an example. For better results though, you're gonna wanna give a more detailed context such as budget, per, you know, preferred formats or sources, which is basically optional, but it's recommended. So the agent performs the task, right? The agent uses a mix of tools, whether it's visual and text browsers to navigate and interact with websites, fill forms, and read documents. Then the virtual terminal to run and debug code if it is requested. Now the API connectors for apps like Gmail, Google Drive, or GitHub after you, you know, basically authenticate or slash log in. Now you will see a real-time visualization of the agent's actions, including its chain of thought and on-screen narration. Now it then monitors guides and, you know, basically or interrupts, right? The agent may ask for clarification or confirmation, especially before important actions, like sending an email, right? You may interrupt, take over, or stop the task outright at any point for greater control. Now, if you want the output formatted in a specific way, then you have to make this a Google Sheet. Just ask, right? Then in regards, you know, this is optional, but there is the automation and scheduling, right? So after a task is completed, you can click the clock icon at the bottom of the chat to set it to recur, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly. Then manage your schedule task via chatgpt.com slash schedules. There are some, you know, 
limitations though it can handle research summaries you know making slides and filling forms you know code execution reading pdfs you know websites etc connecting to third-party apps and more uh the agent right it prompts for permission right there's a safety component it prompts for you know basically permission before sensitive actions and refuses high risk high risk tasks right like bank transfers now there are some citations in regards to this as well. So outputs include source links or screenshots for verification. Now there is a beta status. The feature can still make mistakes, you know, so review its work when the, you know, the stakes are high, what it is, how it works, how can it be used in real world? Right? We talked about emails, calendars, you know, research, the, you know, directing, uh, citations, you know, assembling, you know, editable presentations, automating simple, you know, web, you know, workflows, travel planning, and, uh, you know, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Right now it is a great tool. It's getting a lot of noise. However, there are some cybersecurity dangers, you know, that, you know, ChatGPT agents include like, you know, prompt injection attacks. Attackers can craft inputs that manipulate the agent to bypass safety restraints, obtain sensitive information or perform unauthorized actions, including entering personal or payment information on malicious websites. You know, there's the potential for data exposure and leaks. So users may, you know, inadvertently submit confidential or sensitive data to ChatGPT, which could be, you know, stored, analyzed or leaked if APIs, you know, storage or integrations are not properly secured. So this risk amplifies if the agent interacts directly with enterprise systems or sensitive databases, right? Hackers can also use ChatGPT, you know, agents for social engineering and phishing. So adversaries can leverage the ChatGPT to automate sophisticated phishing attacks, generate convincing emails, or create fake support bots to harvest login credentials and financial information. Okay. There's this new thing that, you know, it can be used for as well called data poisoning and model manipulation. So attackers, hackers, whatever you want to call them might introduce malicious data, you know, during training or fine tuning, causing the model to behave unpredictably, potentially producing biased, harmful, or exploitable outputs. Okay. Skilled adversaries could also infer or reconstruct sensitive information from the model's prior training data by systematically coring the agent. Okay. So because ChatGPT agents can execute actions such as filling forms, browsing websites, or running code, they may be tricked into acting on malicious instructions found online, unintentionally exposing user information or performing harmful action. So this is a new dimension of risk as both users and AI itself can be targeted, right? So malicious actors could misuse the model, right? The generated outputs, for example, using the agent to create deceptive content or generate plausible, but false guidance, right? Now, in re now there are ways to mitigate this, right? Strong access controls and monitoring over agent action, strict data sanitation and encryption in transit and at rest, human oversight and agents watching agents, right? To intervene if abnormal or dangerous behavior is detected, ongoing awareness and training so users know not to input sensitive, regulated or confidential information into agents, okay? So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you appreciate this video and you want more videos like this, please let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.